And a welcome, welcome to everyone. I am the Pop Culture Mechanic, and we're going to be doing a little bit of gaming today on the Sega Game Gear. This is a nice little machine back in the day, although it did have a, a problem with eating through batteries like crazy. But it had a nice color screen, which is one thing it had going for it. Although the, uh, the Game Boy did not have one until a uh, while later, it uh, it still managed to outdo the Game Gear. So, without further ado, and start playing. Just have to hit that and that, and we will start off with our first game. As you can see, 1991, Walt Disney Company. And we'll get to it here. Let's see, Once Upon a Mouse. Welcome to Vera City, where life is joyful and everyone lives in peace. All but one, that is. One who is jealous of Minnie's beauty and popularity, the witch Miserable. And she looks like the witch from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, who one day came on her broom and swept Minnie away. Mickey was taken by surprise. He did the only thing he could. He chased after the witch Miserable all the way to Castle of Illusion. And we'll do normal. You must find the seven gems of the rainbow. They will give you the power to overcome Miserable. But be careful, the gems are protected by the Masters of Illusion. Okay. Okay, we got three doors to pick from. I'll just pick the closest one. And as far as Mickey's moves are, he can jump and I think pick stuff up as well. But any we can't jump on any enemies. And they come back right away too. Ah. Uh. Oh sure, you're gonna jump right into me. Okay. That's how he wants to be. Well, let's try this again then. There we go. Get you, you jumper. Oh! Damn. Just made it. Let's see what's down here. Okay. Oh, spider. It's like a. No, that's not. No, not an armadillo. One of those bugs that rolls up into a, a ball. Huh. Oh, a butterfly. There we go. Oh, I think I needed that. I guess I better go back and see if I can't. No, okay. Let's try this again. No, let's not jump down the pit. That's, uh,. That's counterproductive. Okay. So you start us at the beginning again, eh? Okay. Oh, and a good morning to Whoopa Troopa. Hey, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. 
just giving myself some grief here with the game gear. Nope. Uh. Oh, come on. This is, uh, this is Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Okay. Try this. I hope the barrel doesn't disappear. There we go. Oh, this is quite a bit of treasure over here. Let's see what we got. Coin. Huh. I'm not sure how to get at these guys. No, no. Well, I got it. Gee, yeah, I thought there would be a way I could. Lift those guys up. No, not like that. Not like that. Okay, well, I'm running out of time. Oh. No, so much for that. Oh, my day, my day is okay. <clears throat> so, I woke up nice and early and got prepped for the stream here. It is raining outside though, so... That's, you gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Okay, let's see if I can't... Oh, I hope your day's going well too, Whoopa. I was looking forward to your stream last night. Ah. Darn. Okay, this guy. This guy is a bit tough, that's for sure. Game over. Must be brave and smart to save Mini. Try again. What do you say in there, game? Well, we're gonna, I just can't let it go at that. This is... Uh, this is uh, going to be something I'm not going to give up on right away. Yeah, game shots fired. <laughs> I didn't come here to get judged, game. Ohio gozaimasu, Blaine! Good to see you this morning. I'm just playing some Castle of Illusion. Right now I'm going to try the second room here. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this is, uh, on the Game Gear. Sega's first... I think it was Sega's first handheld. Ah, nice! Barbecue day! That's awesome. Game didn't work out. Yeah, I... Yeah, that was a weird issue, Whoopa. I mean, what is up with Steam anyway? Oh, 
Oh, and watch out for those airplanes. They can stun them, but they can't, uh, can't, can't destroy them permanently. There we go. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I think I want that star. Oh. Well, don't do it like that. No more seven vids in seven days for Whoop a week, but that's okay. I can do five vid streams in seven days still. Probably post one of my Sunday vids. Relax. That's that's the way to do it. And it, hello and a good morning, Mike from Pacific Four One Four. Nice to see you stop by. Steam will sell you a game that doesn't work because network servers are down. Okay, let's see if I can get that. Oh, not like that. Okay, here we go. But Steam is, isn't that just everything, all that Valve, good idea by Valve, but that's all they've got going for them, or do they, does Valve still put out games? Basically all Valve does because Gabe Newell can't count to three. <laughs> oh, nice. And that's because of, uh, what's that game again? Half-Life? The game's been out for so long. See if I can't get this better. Oh, okay. That's good. That star got me extra. Extra life. Which I just blew it. Ah. Come on. Okay, I got four stars now. So I shouldn't need to go up there again. Oh. I think I gotta get up to that ladder.
No way, are you telling me I can stand on those? I wonder. So if I pick this up... Uh, perhaps my wife beat Saber all the time? The thing is more mod than game now. <laughs> They did the Index VR and Half-Life Alex. only thing in recent memory. Yeah, I remember them talking about Half-Life Alex. Yeah, okay, I can jump on that cloud. Oh, there we go. Half-Life, Team Fortress, you name it, they do two plus expansions. Yes, but does anybody remember the original Team Fortress? Left for Dead. Dota. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about Dota. Come on. Come on. Come on, grab that. Grab it. Ah, okay, you can bounce on those. 2013 is the last time they made, like, a big game, I think of. Not a soul alive remembers Team Fortress 1. Damn it! Yeah, kids! Don't remember the good old days of the early computers? Come on, get up there, Mickey. There we go. Ah, okay. Not bad for a Game Gear game, I'd say. Or did they just port it from the Master System? Uh-oh. Bubbles. Bubbles are gonna hurt me. Come on. I assume these here are gonna hurt me. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. I've done stuff since then, but it's all like side games and VR stuff. Back in my day, we had to play games in DOS mode. <laughs> yeah. If the compi was beige, this generation won't remember. Yeah. That's for sure. Alright, so I'll bring my barrel with me. Damn it! Ah. Okay. Let's do this. Should be able to just hop on this guy. No, not like that. You talking to me? You you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. 
You must be talking to me. Damn it. There we go. Some life. Piece of cake. There we go. Hey. Okay, he makes everything fall. Oh, you got me. <coughs> All right. You're going to have one right over the ladder. And once again, you must be brave and smart to save Minnie. Thanks, game. Mobile needs to tag like PC. <laughs> it was cheap. I got one more area to try. Oh, Jesus. It's a moving level. Okay. So it's constant movement. Oh, sure. Uh, I, oh, can't make that jump. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Come on, computer, work with me here. That place there. Okay. I gotta try that moving one one more time because it's just learning where everything is. You'd figure you'd be used to this by like Mario when they had those levels. You had to always uh, just keep keep moving. Ah. Oh, one away from 700 subs. Wow. Nice. Oh. I can see why they don't. The gameplay like this. Come on, get in there. I gotta wait a little longer. Come for the games, stay for the humiliating gameplay. Ah. 
Ah, no, I better not. Is it this guy? Oh, <sighs> yeah, all right. Well, I'm not going to let that stop me. I at least got to get by that part. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh. This is where a gamepad might come in handy, rather than just playing on keyboard. Ah, bugger. Oh, sure. Okay, jump here, duck. There we go. What the hell? Come on. Okay. Then you got a donut rolling after you. At least it's not a solid, solid scrolling screen again. Ah. Oh, hello, E-Class. Nice to see you stopping by. <laughs> Better than me at this. <laughs> Hardly. Uh, sometimes these games, though. I didn't have a Game Gear growing up as a, as a kid. Um, so I've never played any of these games. Okay, jump from platform to platform. Ooh! I'm thinking those dolphins aren't those that friendly. Yes, come on, Mickey. There you go. Ah! Oh, all right. Ah! Blaine? I hope you mean what the, the stuff you're going to throw on the barbecue, and that's not a euphemism for something. Well, why don't we why don't we switch it up here? There's other game gear games to play. And what do we have here? Let's try. Oh, 
RC Grand Prix. Oh, it's going to get hot. Low and long. <laughs> uh. No, he even wants you to put your name in, eh? I'll just do my initials. Ready for the first race. Three laps, one minute time limit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, so it's just gas and left and right, but you have to be putting yourself in the sort of the driver's seat to to turn left and right. So Sega just about had it right. If they would have had like a game like this, and then if they could have had like wireless communication between Game Gears, I'm sure it would have been a, a big hit. Yeah, I'm doing this again. Now that I got the controls figured out, let's see what we can you see what we can do here. Come on, you gotta keep up with these guys. Every time there's that little beeping sound, I think that means there's a corner coming up. But where is my blue shell? That's what I want to know. Come on, get out of my way. Ah! Okay, I didn't run out of time that time, but I got freaking railroaded right into the... Bring back so many memories, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Blame the one, the arcade. The uh, you had like steering wheels, and you had to steer your little uh, F one car around. I don't know if your meat will bring back that many memories, Blaine. Not saying it's not memorable. All right, I can do this. Maybe I should run these guys into the wall. Oh, oh. Okay, now I'm starting to anticipate. There we go. First prize, hundred bucks. Time bonus, nine dollars. Eh. Fight the AI. Yeah. We have a barcade with one of those mach RC machines. It's such a blast. Yeah, it would be. Hanging out, having a couple of drinks, playing some games. Doesn't get much better than that.
The only meat I remember from Blaine was when you streamed a barbecue. Yeah? Barbecue stream. Get ready for the second race. Three laps. One minute and 30 time limit. All right. Right away, hairpin turn. Oh, come on. Hairpin turns, okay. Then we're gonna have a map of it. That would have, that would, and everyone is stuck. Yeah, okay. Nothing beats that rock and racing on the SNES. I'd play that, but ha, I'd be like copyright strike in a second with all the music they have on there. Like Black Sabbath and all that. Ah, these guys are having a hard time of it too. They're the AI. Oh, we all ran out of time. My God, we couldn't even finish it. Today's barbecue is about six hours smoke. Wow, there's lots of in-between preps, maybe some sort of local stream to test or just a couple of shorts. Yeah, that'd be all right. It's not the SNE, it's the SNES. <laughs> I've heard it called that. It's SNES or SNES or Super SNES. You're driving, so you're not be able to chat. That's no problem, E class. You do safe driving instead. That's more important. Almost with first place. Yeah, except time. I mean, come on, you guys. Oh, no. Is it one of these that sends you all the way back? You can't even continue. Oh. Oops. No, no, no. There we go. Let's try this again. Oh. Come on, Sega. Do better than this. Okay. Oh, recovered. That's right, leave you in the dust. Last? Oh, third. Do I at least get to go on ahead? You always said SNES. SNES? Yeah? Watch the first two of Bastard setting up to be a blast for sure. I've seen that a lot around back in the day, the, the original Bastard. An alert on your phone that some guy named is streaming. <laughs> An alert on your phone? I like to say sneeze. It's just fun. Yeah, yeah. You have $33 cash, not enough money to buy parts. Why are parts so expensive? So you can see the map there, but I wish they had it up on screen as you were driving around. That would be much better. At least let you have some anticipation. Oh, 
I just gotta hope these guys get caught on a corner or something. Like that. Third place. Okay, maybe you guys won't remember, but there used to be this arcade game called Hard Driving. And it was done in a 3D style where you're behind the wheel. And uh, you could take two different tracks. There was a stunt track and a speed track. Anybody remember that one? Hard driving? Oh sure, I just helped my opponent. There we go. Don't help your opponent. Whew! Made it. <laughs> yeah, I figured... Figured Mike would have seen the arcade version. But yeah, I mean... That was pretty darn good. Yeah, it's only $100 for a race. Yay. Oh, I can enter the store. Motor. High speed motor. Ultra motor. Improved tires. Ultra tires. And let me guess. Improved in suspension. Is it going to be ultra suspension? Ultra suspension. High torque gears. Ultra high torque gears. No, high speed gears. Ultra gears, there they are. High current batteries. Ultra batteries. Okay, I don't know. I think wheels will probably be the best thing. I can't buy ultra tires. There we go. And then exit the store. Yeah, inflation. Yeah, it's it's RC, all right. I still liked RC Pro-Am for the NES. That was a uh, that was a fun game. Okay, loop around this way. Come on, you guys, get out of the way. in front of him. Oh, come on! Uh, third place, winnings, total winnings, yeah, yeah. Not enough money to buy parts. Yeah, that's alright. Fourth race, four laps, 210 time limit, okay. Uh, a couple of hairpins, it looks like. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes here. I don't know, do you think that beeping is necessary to let you know there's a corner coming up?
Okay. Yeah. See that guy behind me is catching up. Maybe I should have got a better engine in this thing. Anybody figure, like, what's, like, the first racing game you guys ever had to play? I mean, I go back to the days of, like, pole position for the Atari. Or even the arcade. And that was hard as hell, especially when you'd shift into high gear. But, uh... I'm curious to know what everybody played as far as their first racing game. Oh, we out of time, and I was in the lead. Ugh. Yeah, when do you get that a turret? You ever see him blow up the competition? I wish. That's where RC Pro Am had it figured right. Sure about the beep. The arrows are there, just what they only had outside. Apex exit comes on on the turns. Pole position, yeah, pole position there, Mike. That's that was a good one. That sure ate a lot of quarters. That one. Can't remember the first racing game you played. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Showing your age, yep, that's fine. Race record, third, first, third, time limit. I don't think, I don't think they should have a time limit. I realize, you know, yeah, they, you have to have some sort of pressure on you, but just the pressure of defeating the other players is, should be enough. First racing game was probably NES Mario Kart, or sorry, SNES Mario Kart. The one I have actual memories of is Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, I got that. I picked that one up a couple of years again, uh, years back to play on the N64. I liked it because you could do uh, cars, airplanes, and hovercraft. And there's like a real story to it where you're trying to defeat the whiz pig. Mario Kart Double Dash was my first. It was a legend. Yes, Mario Kart Double Dash. If you had all like, if you had like four, I think it was, if you had four GameCubes hooked up, you could have like 16 people playing or something like that. <laughs> Time limit needs to be, he's doing donuts in the outfield. Let's read this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. You get those players that are out there. But yeah, double dash. Only eight play. Yeah, okay. It wasn't 16 players. It was like eight players, but you could have like every every person could drive a cart and then the people could ride along behind to throw the uh the shells and all that. Now that's makes for a good time. Definitely a lot of friendships lost over that one, I'm sure. Well, why don't we try one more different game? And, uh... Let's see here. You played against your cousins all the time for five years? You only lost twice? Wow, just dominated. That and Bomberman generation back when I was actually good at video games. <laughs> Bomberman. Yeah, that's a fun one. I like that one.
Okay, we'll do uh, one I haven't tried here. At least I don't think I have tried this. Was that a house party a few years back? Did the whole doubled GameCube setup for eight people? Nice! Yeah, I wish I could have experienced that. That would have been great. Okay, this one is called Rystar, the Rising Star. What in the name of Metroid is this? <laughs> it's called Rystar, the Rising Star. At least I think that's what it's called. Yeah, there you go. Rystar. And then Whoopa blew out his blew out their thumb. They would have gone to nationals if they hadn't gotten that injury. Yep. Yep, it's an old gaming injury. Alright, let's see what we can do here. This is new to me. Planet Flora, round one. Okay. Okay, you can reach out and grab. You can jump. Can you grab enemies? Okay, yeah, you can. Okay, reach up. Pick up stars. Okay, you can't double jump. Oh. Okay, climb. Oh. No, no, straight up. No, no, not like that. There we go. Whew. Thought I was dead there for a minute. Okay, so you're climbing ladders. Hanging out on... Oh, come on. Okay. Jump to this guy. Jump to this guy. There we go. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, these are in your way, but you swing around them. And you headbutt those guys. I take it those are no good. Oh. There we go. Jump and reach. Okay. Jump and reach. Ah, you bugger. <laughs> I know there's bonks out there, but this looks like, uh... This looks like where you can reach out and, like, headbutt your enemies. Leap of faith. Okay. Oh, can I hang on to those? Okay. And I can swing. Huh. That's pretty neat. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. There we go. Nope, nope. Nope. Can 
Yeah, this is definitely different for me. I've never even tried anything like this before. Okay, now it's Kirby. <laughs> yeah, I don't inhale anything, though. A devastating toe injury ruined my aspirations on being a foot... <laughs> Uh, my condolences, Whoopa. Yeah. Okay, come on now. Figure this out. No. Whoop. Oh, okay. Whoa! That was crazy. Almost like a little bit of Sonic in there. Huh. Life is cruel, mistress. Want to see me throw this controller over those there mountains? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, area is clear. Uh, all right. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. No, okay. Can't go in there. Okay, so you gotta get over this spike patch here. Okay, he does a little animation when he's waiting. Oh. Alright, well, don't push down, otherwise you jump down. Oh, was that a Napoleon Dynamite reference, Whoopa? Oh, I have not seen that movie, so I just totally missed that. Woof! Funny how the life bar is so tiny, they just make it little stars. So you really don't know what it's for right off the bat. And you're a little more intuitive. Okay. No. Alright. Gotta get around here somehow. <laughs> I 
Okay, well... I'm not sure where this goes. Well, movie I've seen that someone else hasn't. <laughs> That's so true, eh, Wupa? It's always like, hey, have you seen this? Have you seen this? And you're just like, no, no. Uh, I don't know here. Maybe go over here? Oh. Okay, let's try this here. Ooh. Collect a lot of stars here and then see if I get a hundred. Do I get an extra man? Um, yeah, movies. I've, I've been keeping track of them on IMDb just to see how many I've watched. And I think I'm like in the, like the 850 range or something like that. Yeah, I did get an extra man. Nice. Look at that, what a treat. Definitely reminds me of Sonic, that part. Fifty range of what? Well, uh, eight hundred and fifty movies over my lifetime that I can remember. Anyway, I've uh, I just go to the IMDb and just tick off if I've seen them or not, and it just keeps track of how many you have seen. <laughs> Lord, that eh? you got a long. Oh, this must be the boss. You've got a lot of life to go there, Wupa, so you've got plenty of time to catch up on watching any movies. Jeez, I don't even know how to beat this guy. If I reach up and grab onto you. Oh. Okay, so... Don't get hit by that. And don't get hit by these. Don't get hit by that. Okay. Oh. Ah, bug girl. That's twice. Okay, no, okay. Fly through space. 
And that was just round one. Ho oh. ho. Okay. Well, this isn't too bad of a game. I'm sure if I uh, had a nice controller, it'd be a lot better. It looks like you go from planet to planet. Planet Terra. Um, also known as Earth. Now we're referred to as Earth as Terra, isn't it? Okay. Come on, reach, 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 damn you. Come on. Okay. They come back after. Ah. Inception is ranked as the 13th best movie of all time. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I mean, I didn't mind Inception, but... Was it like... I'm sure it's just an average of what everyone thinks, I guess. There we go. Come on. I don't think you should have to grab for any, for anything that comes down. You should just walk over it and that should be good enough. Ah, oh, and you have to hang, keep hanging on. Okay. Well, this isn't too bad. Too bad of a game. Okay, so apparently I can control. Did you see what the number one movie was, Whoopa? Well, and the thing saying it's not too bad of a game is that it's on the Game Gear.
and get a height bonus. Huh. Number one, Shawshank Redemption. Never seen it. Ah, it's based on a, uh, on a book by, uh, oh, actually, no, not even a book. Short story? Novella? Yeah. Who's that guy? Stephen King. I think it was based on a short story or a novella by Stephen King, Shawshank Redemption. I liked it. It's got Tim Robbins in it and Clancy Brown, who was the... Uh, Clancy Brown's the guy that does the voice of Mr. Krabs on SpongeBob SquarePants. He also did uh, Lex Luthor on Superman, the animated series. Okay, so this guy needs... He needs me to, to, I gotta like throw something into his nose. He almost looks like, uh, who is it, Abra? Oh, okay. That wakes him up. Not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Ah! Got sucked into his nose. Ah! Ah, oh, bugger. Yeah, that's the one. Drowsy, not not Abra. It looks like Drowsy, which I guess makes sense. Inspired you to make a list for myself. Hey, right on. Let's see if, if I can beat this guy. Does it take me just back to the boss? Please take me back to the boss. Oh, okay. You've only seen one movie in the top five, and that's all right. As long as you enjoyed it, it was a good movie. Like my wife and I watched Beverly Hills Cop last night. I had never seen it before. Good, good movie. Eddie Murphy playing a cop. Cannon? Is that a sonic thing getting shot out of a cannon? You bugger. Backstabber. There you go. I gotta be a little more proactive with getting rid of guys. Okay, here we go. Don't get sucked in by the nose. I wonder if I throw that bat into his nose, though. Oh. 
Oh, that <laughs> got in there. Okay. No. Too quick on the buttons here. Knock him out. Now we're in sort of like a dreamland. And... Oh. That's alright. We'll get, we'll get him this time. Oh. Suck that in there. Go to sleep. Officially went through the top 250. I've watched 47 of them. Yeah, good. Yeah, you don't have to watch every single one of them. I mean, a lot of them aren't going to be anything you're really interested in. Oh. Damn. Okay, we're kind of in the dreamland, it looks like, so... No, maybe I gotta save those. Ah! Meat time, gotta go silent. No problem, Blaine. Hope you have an awesome barbecue. I think I'm gonna be calling it here too. Been doing this for a while. It's been fun though, talking with everyone. You're gonna lurk. Just a lurker. I'll go for one more chance here. I'd like to know how to beat this guy. I'm not quite sure. Any help would be appreciated if anybody knows what I'm missing here to... to slap this guy down. Got me. How did I do that before? Get into the cannon. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, I gotta keep hanging on. Oh! <sighs> keep hanging on, keep hanging on. There we go. Okay, here we go. Got to take this guy down. Not sure how. Of 
Put him to sleep. Ah. Oh. No, okay. Okay, put him to sleep, grab a bubble. Until he wakes up. No, he throws another one. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh. Did that... Oh. I thought for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we gotta take the bat down. Oh, he changed color. Ah, run, run, run. Run like hell, come on. Come on. Change color again. Oh. That's okay. We're, we'll get it, we'll get it. Ah. Come on. Okay, he throws a second one and then he should start inhaling. Oh. Bonus stage. Uh oh. What do I got to do here? Ready? Not really. Go around collecting stars. Go. Bouncing around, grabbing things. Okay, well, uh, miss, yes. Okay, I didn't, wasn't sure there was a floor or not. Well, that's okay. Okay, leaving that planet. Round two clear, clear bonus.
Round three, Planet Sonata. A music-themed planet, it looks like. Okay. Guys electrify themselves. Okay, that TI takes two. Alright, good. Metronome. Oh. Okay, we're going up a little higher here. Okay, don't touch him. You want a metronome, eh? Okay. Oh. All right, let's see here. Um. Okay, that did nothing to him. Lunchtime. Wondering what you should eat. Yeah. I usually don't eat until uh, noon anyway. Part of what I do for intermittent fasting. Helps me control my caloric intake. And I've been wondering, what do Whoopas eat anyway? Come on, get up there. Pizza! Pizza sounds just great. Okay, you won't let me pass that guy. All right. <laughs> Come on. Man, oh man. Pulling yourself up and over. Ah. Pizza, but what kind of pizza, Whoopa? What kind of pizza? Recently, my wife and I have been trying uh, croissant pizza. Pizza with a croissant crust. And I'm liking it. It's very light and fluffy. Not very dense, like a lot of the uh, pizzas you get. Plain pepperoni frozen pizza. Nothing fancy. <laughs> no, that's okay too.
Sometimes to change it up, my wife and I'll have, uh, she'll make pizza bread, which is just like a big loaf of bread with some, uh, or I shouldn't say it's bread, well, it is bread, but it's like a, a round loaf, French bread, I guess. Cut it in half, put some uh, pizza sauce on it, uh, some cheese. Um, what else does she put? Pepperoni, of course. But I like the fact that she will put as more pepperoni than you get on a commercial pizza that you buy from the store. She just loads it up. Which is pretty darn tasty. Where's my lift? There it is. Ah, you little bugger. There we go. Ah, you won't get out of my way, eh? Unless I bring you one of those. All right. Okay, right under the spikes. Come on now. I hope this is the thing he wants. Ah. Oh, but I can't get across there. Kind of stuck. Baseball. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what PMC was, and I'm like, oh, you're just shortening up the old name there. That's pretty cool. PCM. Baseball? Baseball's okay. It's not very... I've only got one team to, shoot, to root for, and that's the Blue Jays. Right? Living in Canada. Gotta, gotta cheer for the Blue Jays. And they did win the pennant back in 92, and I think in 93. And we also had the Montreal Expos, but they're, they have uh, folded since then. Canada, eh? Yay. Bring a Montreal team back, potentially? Uh, that'd be nice. I'm sure they- I'm sure they miss it, like... It sucks when a team leaves your, uh... Leaves your area. Ah. Boom. Okay, well, that's Rystar. Not too shabby. It's pretty good. It 
St. Louis losing a football team not once, but twice? Really? That sucks. Who was it? The... Was it the Browns? St. Louis Browns? I'm not familiar with St. Louis's, uh, uh, football team. Arizona Cardinals used to be in St. Louis. Okay, yeah, I can remember the name, the St. Louis Cardinals. The, uh, I had no idea they had moved. Let's see here. St. Louis Cardinals also are baseball teams. We had two Cardinals teams. <laughs> two baseball teams. Well, isn't that something? What was the name of the uh, football teams? It was the Cardinals? Yeah, it's quite the quite the different. They basically said the St. Louis Football Cardinals to specify which one they had, but then they left. Oh man! Yeah, and basketball as well. There's uh, there's the Toronto Raptors. We used to have a second basketball team in Canada called the Grizzlies that were in out of Vancouver, but those they only lasted about what was it five years maybe. I think, if even that. And then they went to, what was that place? Memphis? And they became the Memphis Grizzlies? They used to have a basketball team too, but that was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, it sucks when the team can't make it in the in their market that they uh, they have to resort to moving. Although I... I suspect they never intended to have a a Vancouver uh, basketball team last for any. There was no real help from the league to keep them viable. Now you want a championship. Now we have a championship in all four major sports, despite not having a basketball or football team anymore. Wait a minute. Did you guys win a Stanley Cup? Did the Blues win a Stanley Cup? Oh, 2019 versus the Bruins? Really? That's, uh, that's, that's all right then. Good for them. Yeah. I've recently, well, I shouldn't say recently, but I haven't followed, uh, hockey in about 10 years. But good for them. Broke the longest Stanley Cup drought now. The longest drought is the Leafs. <laughs> uh, don't you think I like poking the bear when that happens? When I know that somebody is a Leafs fan. <clears throat> I, uh, I'll be like, so, how's that Stanley Cup coming? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah. I don't mind talking sports sometimes. Get into it. It's pretty fun.
<clears throat> we'll see you on next time, next stream, what we'll get up to or what I will do. You can always uh, pick a different console handhold to play, maybe some Game Boy. Yep, have a good one, Wupa. It's funny, for a while though, we had a basketball football championship without a team. Didn't have a hockey championship while having a team. True. They have to leave to become successful. But yeah, have a good one, Wupa. I'm going to wrap it up now. It was uh, a great stream. I like playing these, these handheld game consoles. That was the Game Gear. Next time we'll see if I can't get into like some Atari Lynx or some Game Boy or even PSP or Wonder Swan. Oh, there's also the Virtual Boy. Hopefully that doesn't hurt you guys' eyes too much. I know it's a lot of red. <clears throat> but yeah, I appreciate everyone coming out today. It was great to see uh, Mike from Pacific 4 and 4. If you like uh, Cubs coverage, he's got you covered with that. So go and see Pacific 4 and 4's channel. Blaine, it was great seeing you come out. If you like anime, anything about Japan, tune into Blaine's Escape Corner. As always, he, he streams every day, Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Mupa, it was great having you out. If you like watching Pokemon playthroughs and Hearts of Iron 4, Wupa Troopa is your man. He plays, uh, he does really good with those, with that game. Uh, E-Class, thanks for coming out, buddy. It was good to see you. Um, let's see, I believe, I believe that was everyone. Once again, I really thank you guys for coming by, watching these little playthroughs I do. Um, make sure to tell your friends. Hit the like button, subscribe, spread the word. The last two H HOI4 challenges I lost, so I don't know if I'm that good. <laughs> well, you know, you can't always win. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Hearts of Iron. Um, when I watch you play, it's like, that is like the ultimate strategy game. You have to really, you know control everything so that you're not uh, getting defeated. But yes, hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell your friends. I will be back tomorrow for Sunday Anime Chat. And uh, to let you know, we will be talking about the Mighty Orbots. It didn't run for very long, but it was definitely it's definitely memorable to me anyway, watching it from when I was a child. So that is what will be the 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 main topic will be tomorrow is the mighty Orbots, obviously with catching up on news that has happened and any other, anything else that pops up. Anybody throwing stuff in the chat, we'll usually talk about it. Tell your friends, if you have a pop culture show that needs fixing, you know just the mechanic to call. <laughs> Thanks, Wupa. Yeah, I definitely, definitely your tradesman of choice. I, I, I'm glad you have those, you have choices of tradesmen out there and you decided to choose me. So I appreciate that. Once again, tune in tomorrow if you want some anime chat. It's Sunday. We'll do a little bit of that. Have a good time with it. So that is it for now. Once again, thanks everybody. And this is the Pop Culture Mechanic signing off. <laughs>